I am presenting about Open DWMR Land Dispute Database website, which is uh, presenting about the land conflict throughout Myanmar. So our Open Data Myanmar website is a web page database. Also, we have the uh, offline database as well. We are collecting the uh, document in individually cases throughout the country and also we are focusing on the conflict which is uh, related with the individual and the companies or investor and the individual with the government stakeholders or government actor so what we are doing is we are trying to show the pattern of the land grabbing issue in geographic so we are addressing the lack of transparency in the land conflict and also we are making sure that the reliable and credible data on the land dispute database so we are collecting information at the fee and we verify after that analyze or extract the data and after that we input import to the offline database and after that we export to the online database so what we are doing is we are showing the case detail with the very draft google map so odm is focused on the collecting facts with the strong evidence base so it means that we are not a story based information we are promoting the um, predicate uses of data through the legal literacy uh, discussions and trainings with the affected community so what we are doing in the legal literacy training is we are giving and discussion and showing the community with the uh, highlighting of the strong and weak points of the law and also we are empowering the affected community with the basic knowledge of the laws and legal perspective and also we are offering the free legal aid service to the affected community our free legal aid service is going through with the legal literacy so it means that we are writing a letter for them together with them and after that we send to the relevant stakeholder to the MPs and to the um, regional parliament of course sometimes we are doing the um, statement and appeal letter as well so um, on the other hand we are representing in the court cases and also in the mediation process as well so what we are doing on the law and policy changes and the governance of the land based investment we are providing the independent data which can be used by the civil society organization members of parliaments and the policy maker so we are contributing the development of the good policy and law of course the information are from the ground to the policy maker level and we are it means that we are supporting to the not only to the policymaker but also to the NGOs and donors to understand the land conflict dynamics in Myanmar. Um, we are carrying out the awareness raising with the members of parliaments, investors, and other actors about about this website. So we we are creating the um, the summary of the fact sheet, which information are the type of like who, what, where, when, how, with the like small simple graph. Um, we are making sure ODM to use uh, ODM to protect the rights of the citizen with the um, like uh, ensuring with the independent data to the civil society MPs and policymakers, and as a um, uh, bigger scenario. Uh, about land conflict issue uh, throughout the Myanmar so uh, we are developing the more accurate data with the uh, proposed investment project in Myanmar so it means that we are feeding information directly from the affected community level to the national level so we are presenting with the more virtual uh, presentation of the data by using map so the challenges and the next step of our open data Myanmar website it's like uh, we have been under the military regime for like mm, mm, several years with the military regime so we are still impacting on the freedom of speech and also there is mistrust for information sharing as well and there is a uh, lack of information sharing in the government um, interdepartment as well so um, the detail of Google map information is not available in Myanmar too we are monitoring the previous 
uh, cases as well. On the other hand, we are trying to I mean, advocate the land data uh, in the inter-ministerial information sharing. Uh, another one is assistance from the lawyer. We are trying to convince the government official for the need of data sharing, uh, for example, like a uh, current land map. Also, we will try to offer an email updated service uh, for the members of parliaments and other relevant stakeholders and other land issue based organizations. We did a seminar. And after that, we will circulate the information through the social media. Here is our open data near my website, which um, which you can see uh, with the by location. By location means we are given the um, Tenendai division and ERE division. For the time being, we are presenting around 800 cases. So this is for the one um, area. It's over 500 cases and we are sh showing with the by class as well. It means that by class we are showing with the investor, uh, by the investor or company, by the government or by the government plus investor or other so regarding with the uh, by reason we are showing the information about like uh, what kind of project they are doing on that area like for example the um, government land grab on that area for the army or sometime for the infrastructure like road and sometime like a uh, special economic zone and deep sea port area. So here you can see that we are showing with the area and the dispute holder type, the region and the place and the dispute acre plus from to date and the sources as well. Here is uh, our ODM website presenting about the land dispute status summary, which you can see that like you can filter with the reason type or the state or division or the like header or acre. So from here you will get the like land disputing status summary. All this information you can go to the data view. From data view you will see there will be a variety of way you can search from uh, this website. For the time being, we can only work on the Burmese language and like um, the, the topic and heading can only provide uh, with English. The rest are in Burmese. So like you will see most of the information in Burmese. Thank you.